Yo, what's going on, everybody? Tiki Gaming, I'm back with a brand new rebuilding challenge. So in today's video, um, basically I have to rebuild the team without doing free agency. So I can't sign any free agents, but I have to build my team basically through the draft as well as the trade. So um, this is kind of hard trade um, unless we get a pretty good team. So I'm hoping we can get a good team if that includes a like Golden State, uh, Chicago, Portland, Celtics, players like that, teams like that. And I'm going to close my eyes and count to five and uh, whatever team I get, that's the team I'm going to do this challenge with. So uh, one, two, three, four, five and i get the san antonio spurs okay so that's actually really good if we go backward i think the next team is okc so that would have been great too so western conference team with the san antonio spurs um definitely are a playoff team and we're gonna download this draft class right here so um obviously they're led by Kawhi Leonard, lamarcus aldridge and tim duncan who did retire so uh, best of luck to him in retirement Manu Ginobili, tony parker and david west and then a ton of great uh other players uh so the San Antonio Spurs organization is so used to winning, and this should be um, not the easiest uh, rebuild, but definitely is going to be a little bit challenging. So, uh, the minutes per position are definitely where I want it. Uh, maybe training another power forward if that is going to be like Boris Diaw. Uh, but I think this team is really good for season number one. The only thing I want to go out and get is them draft picks um, because, like I said, we're building through the draft and through the trade. So, I'm going to go out and try to find a trade for the Washington pick. They want our 2016 Bo Bond. David West. Um, I don't want to give up Patty Mills because you're backup. Um, I think I might do this trade. So this is not a bad trade. Kyle Anderson for two second round picks. And uh, Washington is usually a lottery pick. So let's go and try to find one more trade to get a pick. And I think I'm going to go to the Boston Celtics and ask for the Dallas Mavericks pick. Hopefully they're not asking for a lot and they're asking for a high price for this pick. So um, I don't actually Terry Rozier might actually be pretty good on this team so I'm gonna take out this David West what if I would give you Patty Mills um, because I think Terry Rozier would be good and I'll throw in a second round pick what if I throw in a first round of 2016 and one more first round pick please and one more pick please okay so we gave up way too much but we really need to do this and um so this is what the teams look like really no uh trades at all tony parker danny green Kawhi Leonard, lamarcus aldridge and tim duncan monty ginobili is going to be our six man david west Bobon, boris diao and then miller um andre yeah andre miller is going to be our backup point guard so it's going to go um Kawhi leonard lamarcus aldridge and then you can say mm, Tony Parker can be our third scoring option. So hopefully we can get in the playoffs, make a deep run, and I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. Okay guys, coming to the end of season, Kevin Durant wins MVP. Carl Anthony Towns wins Rookie of the Year. Joakim Noah wins Sixth Man. Anthony Davis wins Stevens Player of the Year. Gordon Hayward wins Most Improved. And Tyron Lue wins Coach of the Year. So going to the standings right here, we did finish third in the Western Conference with a 56 and 26 record. I thought that we were going to finish around there, top three in the Eastern Conference. Kawhi led us, led us in points as well as Lamar. Marcus Aldridge, Tony Parker, Monty Ginobili, and basically the whole team did really good. So, in our first round matchup, we're going up against the sixth seed of Minnesota Timberwolves. So, that's pretty cool to see that they did make it as they take an early 1 nothing lead. We tied up 1 1. We go up 2 1. They tied up 2 2. Wow. We go up 3 2. And we move on. Okay, so I thought if we forced a game seven, there was no way that we we're gonna beat that team, that young athletic team. But in the second round, we're going up against the Golden State Warriors. Similar so game by game, they took an early one nothing lead, two nothing lead, three nothing lead, three one, and we get eliminated. So um, it's so much harder in the Western Conference to win um, the second round. And it looks like Golden State and Miami. And Golden State does win another NBA championship. Klay Thompson wins Finals MVP. So this is the challenging. This is where the challenging part begins. I am allowed to re-sign um, players. My uh, existing players. I'm not allowed to sign any new free agents. I should have said that in the beginning of the video. But I'm not allowed to sign any. Uh, I'm allowed to re-sign players. So we're going to go right here to staff signing. We're going to go to the scouting, look at mock drafts, and okay, so we are not, okay, so we have the 12th pick, which is from the Mavericks, okay, so it looks like the, wow, wait, where's, where's our other pick? We got 12, and then we also got, what? I thought we had another pick, where the Washington Wizards fall? The Wizards didn't even make the playoffs, but 
Where's that pick? Anyways, we're gonna go right into the NBA draft. Hopefully, we get a big name free agent, not free agent rookie. And uh, I'm thinking about a Buddy Heal, that impact score that can come in right now and fit in our rotation. So I'll see you guys after I go in the NBA draft. And I'll see you guys at rookie signings. Okay, guys, so we did manage to get Denzel Valentine out of Michigan State in the 12th pick. So he fell all the way to number 12, and that was really good for us. So team player options, Boris DL, I'm not going to bring back. Uh, Jonathan Simmons, I guess he did pretty good for us. Uh, LeBron declined, but none of these free agents matter, and LeBron would be in free agency. So we have no qualifying offers. And then the big part, my free agency. So I'm going to bring back Manu Ginobili. He's gonna, just going to come back for veteran cost. Uh, David West, yeah, so he did pretty good well last season. Bring him back. Bobo is going to test, so I'm going to try to go after him in free agency. Uh, Boris DL, what did he do? He did seven. I'm just going to offer him a contract and just use him for trade value. Um, and then everyone else I'm going to let walk except Kevin Martin for a good deal. So, in free agency, we're going to see if all these players can come back. And yes, they do. So, now I'm going to go out and try to get Boban. Um,. He would be under centers. Uh, hopefully, he's not asking for too much. And where is he? Boban right here. So, um, we're going to offer him a two-year deal uh, worth $5 million, And he's going to accept that deal. So, we have all of our pre-existing players. And we should be in a good run for another playoff run. So, basically, what i got to do now is make a couple trades. And uh, hopefully, help our depth. And maybe get a new point guard. Like I said, um, unless Terry Rozier progressed a good amount, I think Terry Rozier might be our next starting point guard. Because Tony Parker, he's still an 80 overall, but after next season, after this season, he's literally going to be like a 75 and he's never, he's not going to progress anymore. Um, and Manu Ginobili is our starting shooting guard. I don't really like that. So I think I'm going to be trying to move Danny Green for a better shooting guard. And it looks like Terry Rozier is a 73. So he is going to get some minutes and Danzel is going to be getting some minutes as well. So I'm going to be trying to find find another point guard and uh, maybe even trade Tony Parker. We'll be sending Tony Parker to the OKC Thunder for Cameron Payne and Costa Kufa. So this is a really good trade because Cameron Payne progresses so well and he puts up so many big numbers and uh, look at those minutes pos position those are looking so well right now and Cameron Payne is going to manage down the point guard position so I don't mind Manu Ginobili starting he's barely leaving he's getting 25 minutes a game it's basically the same amount of minutes that he get off the bench so it's going to go Cameron Payne, Manu Ginobili, Kawhi Leonard, Lamarcus Aldridge and then Boban and then the bench it really isn't that bad as well we got a pretty deep roster and Denzel Valentine hopefully can get in the rotation and make a spark so Greg Popovich can give him some minutes. So it's going to go Kawhi Leonard, LaMarcus Aldridge. And then why not... Mm, actually, why not Cameron Payne? So hopefully... Actually, I'm going to switch that up. Um, I don't want Cameron Payne as the third scoring option. I want him to be more of a uh, passing... Um, so I guess I'll go with Monte Ginobili. So hopefully we can get into the playoffs for season number two, and I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Yes, coming to the end of the season, Russell Westbrook wins MVP, Ben Simmons wins Rookie of the Year, Joe No wins Sixth Man, Draymond Green wins Stevens Play of the Year, Kyle Quinn wins mo Most Improved, and Joe Wolf wins Coach of the Year. And he brought our San Antonio Spurs to a 62 and 20 record. I don't even know why Greg Popovich is in the coach. Um, don't ask me. So like I said, 62 and 20 right behind us with the OKC Thunder, Golden State Warriors. Warriors and the Clippers and the usual teams that are in the pack in the Western Conference. So Kawhi Leonard, 24 points a game, 9 rebounds, a beast for us. And then LaMarcus Aldridge with 20, uh, Ginobili with 12, Cameron Payne, like I said, 11.5 points, 7 assists. And he's now a 78, over, uh, 78 overall. Uh, Danny Green did pretty well off the bench. And then Zell Valentine got limited playing time and averaged 1.4 points a game. So I want him to get more minutes. Hopefully he can make a big sign, uh, make a big play in the playoffs or something like that. So in our first round matchup, we're going up against the Portland Trailblazers as they take an early 1-0 lead. 2-0 lead. 2K. Fix your logic because this doesn't make any sense at all. I understand they got Damian Lillard, CJ McCollum, but after that, it's no one else. You're going to say Taj Gibson can out-rebound? Who is it? LaMarcus Aldridge. Uh, Bobon, David West. Boris Dio. No way this is going to happen. 0-2. 2-1. 2-2, 3-2, let's go, okay, the Portland Trailblazers took the first two games, but we came back and won four straight, so next we're going up against the Minnesota Timberwolves, and we did beat them last season, but they're obviously a young, talented team as they took an early 1-0 lead, we tied at 1-1, 
They go up 2-1, 3-1, 3-2, and we got eliminated. So let's take a look. So um, Carl Anthony Towns, Gorgi Dang, Tyler Ulis. Okay, so that's a really good team, but I don't think we should have lost in game six. And it looks like the Timberwolves are going to the finals in Detroit and the Minnesota Timberwolves. And Detroit wins a, a finals. Reggie Jackson wins finals MVP. So um, another season where we have to build through the draft. So we're going to go to rookie signings. Uh, we obviously don't have a lottery pick. I'm not even sure if we have a lottery, um, even a pick. So, because I think we traded it for that Washington pick, but I'm going to pick up both of these players. And uh, so this is our final season to win an NBA championship. Cameron Payne and Tyree Rose. I'm going to bring both of those players back because they did have great seasons for us. Uh, Kwan finding offers, no one there. And then this, my free agent. So, um, Jonathan Simmons, don't want to actually... Nah, I'm not going to bring him back. He's just... Actually, I'll bring him back just for bench rolls, I'm assuming. Um, nothing more than that. And uh, it looks like they're going to go into free agency. I'm not even going to go after them because they're not going to get any more minutes. And that may, oh, that might, since we're letting them walk, that might open up some more minutes for Denzel Valentine and Terry Rozier. So this is the last season that we have to win an NBA championship. So I'm obviously going to be making more trades. But it looks like by our record, we really don't need any more trades because we did finish first in the Western Conference. Didn't even make it to the Western Conference Finals. I'm not too sure how that didn't happen. I uh, was winning 62 games is a really good win percentage. So I'm liking the starting lineup with Cameron Payne. We still need a shooting guard because it looks like Ginobili retired and Tim Duncan retired as well. Um, Kawhi Leonard is still going to be averaging a lot of points while well, LaMarcus Aldridge. So the starting line is really where I want it. And then Denzel Valentine after um, the seat, after I let go of those players is now getting 21 minutes a game. So that's really good. And Terry Rose is getting minutes a game. So what I want to go out and do is trade. I don't want to trade... Uh, both of these players, because just in case we have an injury, of course, to Kufas or someone like that, I'm going to go out and trade uh, Boris Dio or David West. I think I'm going to trade David West because I feel like Boris Dio still has some um, ways to, he can kind of like, his attributes can still go up. He still can progress. So I'm going to go out and try to find a trade for David West. Look at those minutes per position. Those things are looking so nice. And this team is really looking good. So, like I said, I really don't mind Danny Green starting, as well as we have a great backup point guard in. Doug McDermott so um, who can play the shooting guard slash small forward position so I think this team is really looking really nice um hopefully Denzel Valentine can make a promising um third season is his second season I'm thinking and uh, so it's gonna go Kawhi Leonard LaMarcus Aldridge and then I guess I I have to give the nod to Cameron Payne after what he did last season uh, after we ship it out Tony Parker he's gonna get the nod at our third scoring option you guys, coming to the end of the season, Kevin Durant wins MVP, averaging 26 points, 8 rebounds, and 7 assists. Daniel Webb wins Rookie of the Year, Joakim Noah wins 6 man, Rudy Gobert wins Stevens Player of the Year, Shelvin Mack wins Most Improved, and David Yeager wins Coach of the Year. So, going to the standings right here, we did finish second, right behind the OKC Thunder, who uh, did finish with a 61 and 21 record. We did have a really good record as well. And uh, going to players, that's Kawhi Leonard, yet again, led us in scoring. LaMarcus Aldridge right behind Tim Cameron Payne with 13. And my boy Denzel Valentine and Terry Rozier had some minutes and they showed that they should be in the rotation. And uh, if you guys do not know this, Terry Rozier is basically one of my favorite players in the NBA. And he's going to have a breakout season in year number two. Trust me, all right? Trust me. So, in our first round match, we're going up against a 17 to Denver Nuggets. I'm just going to simply the round because we should come out. Whoa, okay. We are down a game. We tied up 2-2. We go up 3-2. Game 7. How have we eliminated? So let's take a look at their team. 2K, fix your knowledge. Fix it. Emmanuel Moutier. Jokic. Will Barton. Eric Bledsoe. Not a bad team. Not a bad team. But to beat a 54-win team, second in the Western Conference at 2K17, Fix your knowledge. Anyone that works for 2K, please fix your knowledge. Um, so we're going to simulate the playoffs right here. And it's probably going to be 
Golden State a while. The Lakers made it in. It looks like the Brooklyn Nets have won the championship. Okay, as a seven seed. DeAndre Jordan, who led that team in 28 minutes, averaged 10 points, 12 rebounds, and two blocks per game. So we could not win an NBA championship with that challenge. But if you guys do want to see more challenges like this, make sure to tell me in the comment section. And uh, we on that grind for 700 subscribers. Hopefully we can get it later um, in the month, uh, next month or so. So thank you guys. I'm gonna continue grinding, continue making these videos. And if you guys do enjoy, make sure to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys.